Digital Product Family. How are you guys are well, guys. This is a fantastic video. If you're struggling with sales, you're struggling with getting all that fantastic passive income, you're struggling with people looking at your listing, guys, then this video is for you. I want to give you some fantastic strategies that will help you rank, get up the pages, get some clicks, get some sales, and get that fantastic passive income, which you deserve, guys. So stay right to the end because I'm going to give you some fantastic gems which you're going to actually hopefully employ at the end of this video and then you can start getting yourself moving. So guys, as usual, if you love digital products, you love creating, you love selling, you love all of that good stuff, then please hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell so you can get more of my videos in your feed. So guys, we're looking at ClipArt today and ClipArt is, uh, I really like ClipArt because in terms of like Passive, I think it's a fantastic one. Creating them is, is easy. So I use Midjourney AI to create fantastic clip art designs. Um, as most of you guys will know um, from watching my videos, I love I love clip art. I mean, I love digital products. I love Midjourney. You know, I use Midjourney for pretty much most of the things that I produce. You know, whether it be for mockups, whether it be for clip art, whether it be for there's all sorts that I use it for, which you can see. Um, digital paper patterns, it's, it's amazing. So yeah, so check out my playlist for in terms of designing things, especially clip art. But coming back to today's video, which is about specifically about getting those sales, I'm gonna give you some strategies, guys. So just get a pen and paper, get ready, because these are the ones. Now, when I type in clip art, guys, obviously, look, the, the volume, the amount of results, the amount of people selling is humongous. We're talking like when I typed in clip art, 1,456,000. You're not going to rank in that. You're not going to get seen in that as a newbie. So it's all about, there's a lot of strategy. So I'm going to start with the first one, which is niche down. Niche, 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 niche. I can't say it enough. Niche, niche, niche down. So like clip art, let's just say this, for example. If I say watercolor, because watercolor is uh, it's quite a popular type of clip art. I want to type in watercolor clip art. Now look at the results, right? Inevitably, they 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 jump down two hundred ninety one thousand, right? Look how much we've cut it by two hundred ninety one thousand three hundred thirty six. Okay, that's better, but still too much, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna go even more watercolor poppy, right? Which is no, I'm gonna say flower watercolor flower, right? I'm not niching down too much yet. Watercolor flower clipper. Where are we now? 96,000, right? Now, do you understand what I'm trying to do? I'm niching down by adding more words, right? The next thing I'm going to do, I want to add poppy, which is a type of flower, okay? And I did the video on this poppy clip art, so do check out on the playlist because this is a this is an idea which I, I showed everybody. Um, look at the results. 1,200 with ads, right? Nice one to get into. So when you want to start out, you want to start, look, um, Etsy's a long game. Etsy's a long game. So it's not about, you know, trying to get there quickly and trying to quickly get the sales. Yes, yeah, fantastic if it does happen, but it's a long game. You're building, building reviews, building the algor the Etsy algorithm knows you, knows where you are, knows you're doing what you're doing, right? It's 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 a it's a whole building process and it does sometimes take time. So don't rush the process. The process sometimes needs to take time. But the first thing you got to do is you got to know that there's a demand for what you're trying to produce. If there's no demand, there's no point, right? So there needs to be a demand. So we know that watercolor, clip art, there's definitely a demand, right? When you look at the results, you see it as clear as day. When you look at watercolor uh, flower clip art, you know that also there's a demand there. You know, watercolor flower poppy is also there is a demand. Maybe not as much and the results are less, but you're able to rank in it. And that's the thing. So what you want to do is you want to niche down. And you can see here are all the beautiful poppy clip arts, you know. And, you know, like like I said, these things sell. These things do sell. Now, imagine if you're selling, let's say, I mean, maybe not as much as other ones because obviously it's a less competition and it's smaller um, people searching for it, less people. But let's say, you know, you've got something for, say, 200 300 400 dollars You know, imagine you're creating... And I keep saying it, it's about also volume, listings. If you've got 10 listings and each one's getting $200, 
you know that's uh, that's two thousand dollars that you're getting right there so and that's just 10 listings so it just gives you an idea about what what how you actually increase your chances because again the more listings you do the more visibility you'll get in Etsy like there's millions on there so you need to get your visibility by increasing your ads so what I would suggest is if you're going to do clip art you're going to have different types of clip art go to the unsaturated ones break it down in terms of sub niches and have a different array so for example if your thing is watercolor clip art for example and it's flowers then look at different types of flowers right and then you also need to go in and niche down even further now look I'll give you an idea. I use Everbee, which is my sort of go-to SEO software, and it's necessary, right? And if you're going to sell properly, it's a science. So you need to be able to um, have an SEO software. Everbee is fantastic. Check out on the links in my description. They do have free trials, so you can try it out. Um, now, uh, let me see. If I just type in, right, clip art, right? Uh, sorry. Let me just get rid of this for example i just want to show you something actually very quickly i just type in clip art just the word clip art right um you know in terms of the keyword score here which you can see there is zero that means it's just terrible to try and rank in but when you add the keywords now like i said i'm gonna say flower right right flower clip art because this helps me understand what the competition is like now flower key uh, flower clip art has given me a score of 10 still too much competition still hard to rank in and this is why guys this is why you go further down so flower pop poppy so a type of flower flower poppy clipper let's see what that does this is giving me a keyword score of 400 right it has a volume of 777 people searching for this on a monthly basis and the competition is 1937 absolutely fantastic and that's why i did a video on it to show how you can actually find and this is what you do when you go into something like Everbee, start experimenting, start adding different keywords. Think about the niche that you want to get into. But don't forget, it's got to be a niche that people are actually searching for, right? You don't want to go into a niche that is dead, that nobody wants. You want to go into a niche that people are searching for and then sub-niche like I've just showed you. Okay, I hope that's clear. Okay, now let's, uh, let's give you some uh, other ideas, right? People love bundles. Look, even on the title here, they've, they've typed in bundle. People search for bundles. They actually search for bundles. So when you've got a, a clip art bundle, and let's say a flower birth month in this case, flower clip art bundle, that's what they're searching for. And funny enough, let me just go to, let me analyze the listing. So using, again, I'm using my software just to analyze the channel, the, the tag, sorry, the listing tags. So look, They've actually got a flower PNG bundle. People actually search for that, 1,140. So they have that in their title as a keyword. So remember, your keywords in the title are very important. And what they've done is they've got these tags, obviously, and they've got these um, some of these keywords which they're using in their title, right? So remember, the title, the description, and the tags very important to have keywords there that you want to be able to rank for and be able to be visible for, okay? So remember that. But also at the same time, don't start kind of keyword stuffing. It doesn't work. You want to sound like a human. So in your description, when you're writing something, you want to sound like a human. You don't want to sound gibberish like you're just stuffing it with keywords. Um, so do try your best to make it sound natural, you know, because it goes a long way. Um, so remember, look, I'm giving you all these strategies. I'm, I'm going along and giving you tips and strategies, right? Very important. The other thing is, which this seller is doing, it's about mock-ups. Now, when people look at um, the Etsy pages, they're just looking at the images. No one's going to read anything. They look at image, images and they look at price. Images and price, right? That's what's there. Um, and it's so important. It's so, so important that your images, guys, speaks. And what I mean by speaks, it allows people to want to click on it. So, for example, you know, you might be looking at Clipper and then, you know, you're looking, you're, imagine you're scrolling down. You're looking at price, I'm looking at price, I'm looking at images. I'll see what captures my eye. So, obviously, you want something to capture the buy. Put yourself in the customer's shoes. Let's say you're looking for Clipper. What's going to catch your eye? That's what you have to think about. So the mock-ups are so important. 
and the mock-ups have to reaffirm what you're thinking right now this is what i mean by reaffirm you want to imagine where the clip art is going to look in your home maybe you want to use it as a wall art there you go then you've got the image of a wall art you might have an image of you can use this clip art for like i don't know a design a mug a t-shirt there you go they've given you an image of the tish of the uh flower the flowers clip art on a t-shirt that you can use it for because what it's saying is look it's got a transparent background png 300 dpi which is perfect for different projects you want to give the customer versatility so yes you they might like be, they might be looking for it but if you're not versatile and they can't use it only for just like a, maybe putting it on a card they might not buy it so versatility paint them the picture visualize give them the visual about how it's going to look in their home how the wall art's going to be in a frame how it's going to be on a t-shirt guys this is how you sell your product mock-ups are so important right it's so important so make sure these mock-ups look good look clear and it's exactly what you they get right so when they purchase it it looks like that right the quality of your designs have to be fantastic Look at mid journey. So I might use mid journey and then I might use something called an upscaler, right? I'll get the image and then cause it looks nice, but when it's bigger, it might not look nice. So I need to upscale it. So that resolution is fantastic. And why, why is that so important? Because when the customer buys it, they want to be able to, uh, when the customer buys it, um, they want to be able to have it on different things. So the quality has to be really, really good. So it's absolutely key, guys, right? Because that is how your um, reviews come, come in. Because when they buy it, then they see it. And if they see it and they like it and they love the quality, they love the delivery, they love the customer service, they will give you a fantastic review, guys. Okay? So remember, mock-ups and make sure the quality of your product is what you say it is. Now, more tips, guys. Pricing. Get your pricing right. Okay, so many people go in and saying, yeah, I'm going to price it around, uh, you know, $7 because that seller who's got, you know, 20,000 reviews is selling like that. No, 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 no. You can't do that. You can't compare yourself to one of them big sellers. You are a newbie, let's say. You have to start low. You know what I would always say? I would always say if you can break even, that's cool right at the beginning. I would keep it low, keep the price low. I would look at all the sellers and I would go below, just below, right? Just below. Because no matter what people say, people look at price, okay? People will definitely look at price. Now, like I said, this, this person sells, right? Is, is selling. So because they're selling, you know, they've got quite a few reviews already, 315, I believe. Um, and they've got loads of reviews for their shop, you know, quite a few reviews. You know, they're growing. But, you know, look, 20 plus baskets. This looks good already. You're not going to have that when you're first starting out. So how are you going to get this? How are you going to get them through? How are you going to get them after they've looked at your mock-up and they see how versatile, how the quality looks good? How are you going to get them to the buy? Now, the title and the description and everything has helped to rank you somewhere, right? So you're there somewhere. Let's say they find you somewhere on some page. They find you. They look at the mock-up. Hmm, that looks good going through. Now what? Okay, what's the price like? Uh, they might compare you to someone who's got loads of reviews. If they compare you to someone similar who's got loads of reviews, you're not getting that sell. So you've got to go lower. You've got to make sure you've got a bundle. The bundle goes a long way as well. Having a bundle, people love deals. Okay, get that extra free, another bundle. Excellent, All right? That's what you need to do, price lower. Get that sale on. You need to get that 50%, 70% sell. Do it at the beginning. Look, short-term losses for long-term gains. Short-term losses for long-term gains, guys. Come on, this is business. So you've got to go down that road. You've got to sacrifice maybe at the beginning so that you've got... It's a business. It's a long-term business. We're looking at years, right? So you want to keep that up there for years. So if you're going to sacrifice one or two months, let's say, right, for the end result, which will be amazing, where it's, it's passive, this thing's going to pay you on a daily. It's a downloadable digital download, right? 90% plus is profit. It's just going to pay you like a every month. So why are you not going to sacrifice and just break even at the beginning? This is what I'm saying. This is the mentality. This is what you have to do. This is how you have to think, right? Science, guys. Okay. Now, so pricing, remember, sale, 
yes um and that is how you get them hopefully to click right and to hopefully buy now once they bought it let's say they bought it right they obviously want to make sure that the quality is good but then it's your customer service your customer service has to be on point they got any questions you got to be there ready yes sure answer their questions but before you do that they're going to have questions already like they're going to want to know like what's the resolution what's this and if you don't answer your questions with the listings then you're going to lose them because they're not going to message you they want to just look and then they'll if they like it they'll buy or if you're not answering a question they'll leave you even if everything else is good they'll leave so what i'm trying to say is increasing ranking and sales has many different parts look the ranking pretty much etsy will will rank you higher the more sales you get right simple as that the more sales you get the higher you go up simple as that the better the reviews algorithm will see it the higher you go up yeah the higher you go but you got to get them through the door you got to get the sales you got to get the clicks right now answer the questions answer the questions how this person has on the listing what happens so like you know they've they're trying to answer you right what to do how to use it nice answer the questions go to the description answer these questions look they're telling you exactly what's going on these images are created in png format with transparent background to make creating your prints easier da -da -da. they're telling you right they're giving you all the info and then they're also you know telling you what you're going to get 36 total files 36 300 dpi transparent background da -da -da. they're telling you and then it's giving you an idea use this set to create for personal commercial use and then they're giving you the idea of what you can use it for you know nursery art social media icons patterns stickers party supplies nursery decor wallpaper signs so many things which that's what i like about clip art the versatility terms of use instant downloads they are telling you everything guys license and so on be absolutely clear because people want to know and if you the more you can answer the questions that you think people are going to ask the better right um and then obviously it's that customer service you know you can ask them for a review you know if they haven't done so already but obviously don't spam it you can ask but don't keep sending messages or anything like that you can ask one time i would say is enough just you know be polite you know did you enjoy it and really you don't you you, you don't want to ask for it straight away. you just want to say do you like the product have you enjoyed the product i hope you like it is there anything else we can do and really that is it you actually sometimes don't even need to ask anything you just have to show your side that you're caring and you actually care about their purchase and what they've done and if there's anything else that you can help them with because that's what customer service is um, and then you'll find that you know a lot of if they're happy with it they're more than willing to kind of really give you um uh hopefully a glowing review and these go a long way because more the more reviews you build and the more reviews you have and the more people say this is how people decide on a purchase on reviews as well i literally do that i'll go scroll straight down i'm looking at what people are saying what's the problem with this did they like it is it nice can i see the pictures of the review let me see how does it actually look in real life all these kind of things contribute to selling guys yeah all of these things will help you sell and rank higher and get those fantastic sales guys so i'm going to stop there because i've been talking way too much guys but i do hope you found value with what i said if you did find value please hit like subscribe smash the notification bell you can actually see my video on uh, creating unsaturated clip arts and how i found it remember you really do need some kind of seo i use everbe check out the links in my description i've actually got three links down there um, but do check it out and if you are serious and you want to use you know actual scientific data to help you rank and help you actually get find those niches then you know to be honest you do need some software so do do try it out um and yeah so like i said guys check out the videos that are coming next check out my playlist on uh, clipper and guys i'll see you on the next video take care